Okay, good morning. Good morning, sir. Come on, come on. Little better than that. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Wonderful, wonderful to be back here. This is the sixth edition of Patna Mind Fest. दो हजार अठारह में विवेक सर के विजन में हमने ये शुरू किया था कि एक वेरी यूनिक प्रोग्राम करें आई कैन टेल यू दैट एज फार एज आई नो इंडिया में और कहीं नहीं होता है ऐसे एक टू डे प्रोग्राम जहां पे पांच अलग अलग इवेंट्स होते हैं बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली कोई भी भाग ले सकता है एनी वन कैन टेक पार्ट इन ऑल ऑफ दीज इवेंट्स ऑल द इवेंट्स आर ओपन टू ऑल एंड दैट इज वाई पटना माइंड फेस्ट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फन programs that we do from nexus every year 2018 we started one year in the pandemic in 2020 we could not do it but it's been happening every year since so this is the sixth edition right this year is going to be very interesting because we have some amazing teams which have come from outside bihar to take part because the popularity of patna mind fest has become so high that we have teams from delhi kolkata who have come here outstation teams if we can have a show of hands who all have come from outside yeah plenty of give them a round of applause and welcome them to our patna for patna mind fest hope you guys will enjoy and have fun uh, some of these are very seasoned quizzing teams uh, they have won many national quizzes so they are here to try to see if they can beat the teams from patna we have special prizes for the quiz for the best school team best college team and the best bihar local team right we have three special prizes which will be given out only after we finish the finale as always we have a preliminary written round after which we'll have a top 8 teams finale round with lots of audience questions and lots of prizes yeah please start giving one sheet to one team okay this quiz is for teams of up to 3 members maximum of 3 members you can take it as a two member team also you can take it alone as well if you wish but it is for maximum of 3 members only one member please stand up only the captain of each team all right we can start distributing answer sheets please give one sheet for the team to the captain please once you get the sheet please fill in the necessary details names of participants one contact number if possible and please tick the relevant category if you are from school or college okay everyone ready all answer sheets given okay great let's go welcome uh my name is venki a quiz master and uh, we are from nexus please look us up on social media we do lots of quizzes as well as content and if you how many of you watch kon banega karodpati on television with amita bachchan okay everybody everybody watches not really everybody but all the questions in that are also done by us at nexus uh, so yeah thank you <laughs> right you can follow us on instagram and we have a nice india themed quiz book which you can purchase on amazon right we'll a big round of applause and thank you to our partners the lovely bihar museum which has been our venue for many years i mean a special message to the outstation teams who are here who are all eager quizzers please spend this opportunity to take a good tour around the bihar museum it's one of i can guarantee you it's among the best museums if not the best in the country that you would have been to we'd also like a big round of applause to extra c the team that's put the whole thing together uh, amazing support volunteers come on guys little more generous xcc has been leading the way in the country for crossword uh, let's not spoil it through uh, any form of cheating right rules for the india quiz written prelims teams of up to 3 people two member teams can also take part solo teams can also take part please give yourself a team name some funny interesting team name and uh, give yourself write down the names of the members top 8 teams will qualify for the finals we have 25 questions for a total of 30 points questions 1 to 20 will be 1 point each 
Questions 11 to 20 in this will be star marked, which means if two teams are tied for the eighth spot, we'll take your scores in these questions to break ties. If there are further ties, we'll go sudden death from question one. Whoever's made the first mistake will get knocked out. Questions 21 to 25 have two parts, as you'll see in your answer sheet. They are worth one point each. So 30 points for 25 questions. Please write your answers in neat block letters. The entire quiz will, of course, be in English. And please write your answers in English. But if you want to write it in Hindi, that's fine as well. We'll be able to correct that also, not a problem. Quizmaster's decision, of course, will be final. Right. Everyone ready? OK. Question number one coming up. Local question. This tourist attraction was designed by Captain John Garston for the British Army in 1786 after the terrible impact of the 1770 famine. It was meant to be the first of many such structures. However, this was the only one that was completed. The winding stairway around this monument offers a brilliant view of Patna and the Ganges flowing nearby. What is this tourist attraction in Patna? Yeah, which tourist attraction? Let's try somebody right at the back, yes? Golgar, that's the right answer, Golgar. First of several granaries to help the city stay prepared for another famine, Golgar. Okay. Question number two. Simple one. This LinkedIn profile went viral a few weeks back in Jan June 2024, thanks to its creator's exploits in Dallas. Whose profile is this? There's another picture. So it says, principal member of technical staff at Oracle, uh, California, United States. Oracle and Cornell University. So he has worked in Oracle and in Cornell University, but everybody got to know him because he did something in another field. Yes, whose LinkedIn profile is this? Yes. So, and who's he? Very good. Saurabh Netravalkar, the USA left arm pace bowler. Saurabh Netravalkar is correct. Indian origin pace bowler bowled a phenomenal super over to help USA beat Pakistan, the group stage of the World Cup. Here is the third question. Dash Dash of Destiny is a 2024 autobiography written by former Chief of Army Staff General Manoj Mukud Narwane. Fill in the blanks with two words that reference his rank a step below the one achieved by these two gentlemen. So these are the only two people in India who have a particular achievement. And that gentleman's achievement is one step below this. It references his rank, it is not his rank. So the answer is not like Lieutenant Colonel. It references his rank. And who are those two people? And what do they have? Five stars. Lovely answer. Four stars of destiny is correct. Uh, KM Karyapa and Sam Manaksha are the only two five-star field marshals of India. So this gentleman is four stars. Four stars of destiny. Very good. Next question. Which island, also known as Gharapuri, got its popular name after Portuguese navigators found an enormous stone sculpture of a particular mammal there? This sculpture now sits in the Jijamata Udyan, which is a very famous museum in Mumbai. This is the sculpture. Which island gets its name because of this sculpture? Think of something near Mumbai. Which island gets its name because of this sculpture being found there? Yeah, simple one, which island, yes. Elephanta Island, correct? That's an elephant. Elephanta Island, Elephanta Caves, 8th and 9th century cave temples are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you go to Bombay, you can go to Gateway of India and take a ferry ride to Elephanta Island. Question 5 coming up. Okay. In a 2024 film, two soldiers arrive in Afghanistan to conduct a military operation. The code name for this is chosen randomly by flipping through local film channels. One of them was showing a 1998 Bollywood film, which we will show you now, about a duo whose friendship overcame their age difference. What was the name of this operation, which is also the name of this new film? But here is the video of the 1998 film. Why 
से बड़ी है हम लाश नहीं है ए भाई सुनिए 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 तारे का अपना गाड़ी में हमको रेलवे स्टेशन तक लिफ्ट दे दीजिएगा या सो दिस इज द 1998 बॉलीवुड फिल्म दैट दे एंड अप वाचिंग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे गिव देयर ऑपरेशन अ नेम सो यू कैन नेम इधर द ओल्डर फिल्म और द न्यूअर फिल्म सेम नेम ओके yes what is the name of this operation very simple uh, yes ma'am bade miyan chote miyan correct absolutely right bade miyan chote miyan very interestingly when the 1998 film was released amitabh bachchan was in his mid 50s and govinda was in his mid 30s akshay kumar is right now in his mid 50s and tiger shroff is in his mid 30s so bade miyan chote miyan question number 6 In 2024, scientists from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics devised a complicated arrangement of lenses. This contraption was created after calculating the route and position of the sun's beams passing over Uttar Pradesh on a particular day. The project came together with pinpoint accuracy at noon on 17th April this year, on the ninth day of Shukla Paksha in the month of Chaitra. What was this project about? What was this project all about? Yes, Surya Tilak Ram Mandir. Phenomenal answer. Absolutely correct. It's the Surya Tilak at the Ayodhya Ram Temple. If you have written anything explaining this, that's good enough. Surya Tilak at the Ram Mandir. Question number seven. In his autobiography, My Experiments with Truth, Mahatma Gandhi describes eating at a restaurant inside a famous European landmark. which monumental landmark the monumental landmark will also see some sporting events hosted immediately outside it this year which monument did he eat in let's say yes eiffel tower that is correct the eiffel tower very interestingly men's beach volleyball and women's blind football are being played in front of the eiffel tower at the summer olympics question 8 In 1963 this company came under the administration of the Department of Atomic Energy to oversee mining operations of precious minerals in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. What did the R E in the name of I R E L what did R E stand for? Yeah this is the logo It says I R E L I is India L is limited what is R E Yes what is the R E in I R E L yes yeah ha huh? not renewable energy yes rare earth yes absolutely right rare earth <coughs> so the term rare earth is actually a misnomer there's nothing rare about them the fact is that it took a long time to find that's why it's called rare earth number 9 In June 2024 Pooja Tomar bested Ryan Dos Santos of Brazil to become the first Indian to have claimed a win in which competition Again very recent current affairs news last two weeks Okay so Pooja Tomar became the first Indian to claim a win in which competition Okay Pooja Tomar became the first okay I knew lots of school kids would get this yes UFC excellent answer ultimate fighting championship or UFC appropriately owned by a company that's called TKO technical knockout UFC question number 10 in 2024 a restored print of a 1976 film was screened in over 50 cities across India This nationwide exercise was conducted on 1st June appropriately because it was World Milk Day which film that was also screened at the 2024 edition of the Cannes Film Festival Okay 1976 film which film You finally got it You wrote it wrong but now you realize the answer is Manthan that is the right answer it is Manthan let's see the uh, little trailer मनहारी ले सजनी मोर पाहुना गो मनहारी ले सजनी मोर पाहुना गो धन है न किशोरी जी के र 
जमशांगने आजोरी शोभला सुनैना के आंगना Yeah, so that is Manthan, and uh, just to go back to that, Manthan, of course, was a crowd-funded film with 500,000 milk farmers of Gujarat, the Gujarat Cooperative Milk Manufacturers Federation, which makes Amul, uh, contributing two rupees each. So there's lots of crowdsourcing and all going on these days to fund companies. This is an early example of very effective crowdsourcing where. Uh, 10 lakhs of rupees was raised by people contributing 2 rupees each. That's why it was released on World Milk Day, as you've figured out now. Okay, 10 questions done. We now go into the star mark questions. Your score in this section will be used to break ties. These questions may be slightly more difficult. But we start with the Bihar question again. In June 2024, two bird sanctuaries from Bihar, Nagi and Nakti, were added to a list that is meant to protect a certain kind of ecosystem. The list is named after a city in Iran that held a convention on the conservation of such sites in 1971. What prestigious list were Nagi and Nakti bird sanctuaries recently added to? One word again will do. What prestigious list is this? So just like UNESCO World Heritage Site list, this is a prestigious list. Right, what list were Nagi and Nakti added to? Lots of hands raised. Ramsar, that's the right answer. Ramsar sites, Ramsar convention protects wetlands and World Wetlands Day celebrated on 2nd February every year. Ramsar, number 12. Okay, which person connects these images? Take these two, these are two authors. One British author and one Russian author, take their names together, their first names. There we have highlighted a certain old empire of India and here is just an object. Which person connects these three images? So take the two authors as one image, take that map as one image and this object as one image. Which person's name would connect? Slight lateral thinking needed here. Which person would connect? Not Ruskin Bond, nice try. Yes. Uh, why Salman Rushdie? Yeah, and his latest work is called Knife. That's Joseph Conrad and Anton Chekhov. So Salman Rushdie, when he was in exile, wrote this book called Joseph Anton. And he took the names from these two people. And what's that image? Victory City. Vijayanagara Empire, which means Victory City. Another of his books. So the answer is Salman Rushdie. How many of you got this right? Oh, quite a few teams. Very good. Well done to all of you. Salman Rushdie. A knife, of course, being his latest book because he was stabbed. Yes. Number 13. The most common style of draping a sari is the Nivi drape. The sari is wrapped around the waist with the loose end worn over the left shoulder. This style is said to have been popularized because it is the common style depicted in the works of a royal individual. Whose works are believed to have made the Nivi drape popular? So this is the Nivi drape, typically how the sari is worn. It's one of the most common and popular draping styles in India. Whose works? have made this popular. As a little clue, we have given you the word royal in quotes. Okay. Nivi drape should be easy. Yes, ma'am. Raja Ravi Verma, absolutely correct. The famous painter Raja Ravi Verma. So you can see in several of his works, the Nivi drape, that's why royal, Raja Ravi Verma. Question number 14. Early one morning in the 16th century, Zain al-Din Mahmud Wasifi's cat got into a spot of bother. It had climbed onto a chini khana, dislodged the contents and cost its owner a small fortune. The destroyed objects are why these niches were called chini khanas. These highly valued items were traded between the Mughal Empire and the courts further east. What kind of objects were kept in chini khanas? 
Yes, this is an interesting question. Chini Khana. Why Chini Khana? Porcelain China vessels. Absolutely correct. These are porcelain vessels. They came from China. Even if you have just written China, that's good enough. Because they are called China. These are porcelain China vessels. The Chini Khana here does not refer to Chini as in sugar. It refers to China. Chinese pottery is fine. We'll give it to you. Porcelain will get you the points. If you have the word porcelain, we'll give you points. Ornamented what? Pots. We'll see. We needed porcelain or the word China somewhere there. Porcelain indicates it's from China, so that's good enough. Okay. Question number 15. Okay. Enjoy this piece of music that you probably heard recently. And tell us, the name of this type of music derives from a Persian word meaning port. What are such musical pieces called? So, no points for telling us where you heard that, but you have to tell us what are such musical pieces called deriving from a Persian word meaning port. Yes, what are such musical pieces called? Wait, Shashank, we'll see if anybody else wants to try. Okay, go for it. Bandari, very good, absolutely right. So, if you have heard of places like Bandar Seri Bhagavan, the bandar there means port. Bandari of the port. Word bandar means port. That's why the... Bandar is fine. If you have written bandar, we'll give you points. Bandar is fine. Bandar, some bandargan, some variant is all okay. We'll give it. Yeah. Bandargan, bandari, bandar, all okay. Question 16. The inception of this location dates to the Mughal era and derives its name from Blank Singh a Prime Minister during Maharaja Ranjit Singh's reign. Initially established for the grain trade, it evolved into a cultural hub, attracting people from various regions who had mastered classical music and dance. Which location, whose name might lead you to believe certain precious commodities are sold here, is being talked about. Next, ah, let's see, only few hands raised. Uh, you've already answered, I'll come back to you. Yes, ma'am. Hira Mandi, very good, absolutely right. Hira Mandi that you might have seen on Netflix. The Hira Mandi refers to not necessarily place where Hira is sold, but after Maha, the Hira Singh, who was the Prime Minister. That's Hira Mandi, very good answer there. Question number 17. In 2021, Subodh Gupta and Bharti Kher, the couple, began a fundraising art to provide for COVID-19 relief. One of the pieces sold is characteristic of Gupta's style of using steel wares and pays homage to the spirit of feeding and welfare. It is named after a sacred space renowned for its faith in inclusivity and humanitarian service with its doors always open. What is the one word title of this piece of art? That's the piece of art. What is the one word title for this piece of art? It's named after a space or the practice, if you want that. It's named after either the space or the practice where the doors are always open. And remember, it's about feeding and welfare. Okay, what's the one word title of this work of art? Slightly more difficult, yes. Langar, that's all we wanted. Langar is right. Langar, the community kitchen which serves meals to everybody free of charge in a Gurdwara. Langar. Question number 18. Simple one. What appropriately is this book cover meant to resemble? India's number one pollster as he calls himself, Pradeep Gupta's How India Votes and What It Means. What does this book cover resemble? 
simple one ah easy one what is yes evm electronic voting machine or evm first trialed in 1982 in the by election to the paravur assembly constituency in kerala evm 19 ali mak ali makbut took the third spot on a list after june 6 2024 who occupied this third spot in a global list before him obviously it's an indian it's an india quiz who occupied the third spot in a particular global list till june 6 2024 after which ali makbut has taken over okay who occupied the third spot before him easy one yes yes sunil chetri correct third on the list of active international goal scorers at the time of his last match as you know he retired after a wonderful career for india uh, against kuwait which india unfortunately drew last of your stama questions a disputed etymology for the name of a region in western india is that it came about because it was home to so many different languages and cultures believed to be over 100 that it was impossible to name it from any one of them which region we are not looking for a state we are looking for a region not a state or a city but a region okay disputed etymology name of a region lots of people seem to work this out uh, yes saurashtra correct 100 so it comes from saura rashtra saura means sun and rashtra means country that's one of the etymologies but the other is there were 100 different cultures so they couldn't name it after any one of them so they called it saurashtra okay the stama questions are done we go to the final five two parters starting here so two answers to be written uh, if the order is important we'll tell you otherwise you can write it in any order these these will carry two points each first question this was the flag of a deccan dynasty the circular disc in the center represents a food item served to one of its founders mir kamaruddin khan blank blank while he was a mughal courtier he found the item so delicious that he popularized it throughout the south so your first answer should be which dynasty's flag is this which is the blanks there or you can give the popular name used for the rulers of this dynasty they all ruled from a south indian location it says deccan dynasty already that's the first part second part what indian disc shaped bread that all of you are familiar with and have eaten features in the center of this flag okay so the center of this flag this round thing is supposed to represent what bread variety that all of you have eaten one word answer which dynasty's flag is this or what was the name given to the rulers of this dynasty okay we'll go one by one which dynasty's flag is this yes perfect answer both parts correct hyderabad nizams or asaf jahi dynasty and kulcha okay hyderabad nizams or asaf jahis and kulcha at one point of time that's the nizam of hyderabad on the time magazine cover he was the richest man in the world just nizams will give you half 22 simple one we're going to play you a video clip identify the 2024 film what is the self referential name of the instrument the title character can be seen playing here you can either give the we'll give we'll accept a punjabi variant name or another name So what is this movie what is the name of that instrument that he is playing 
Just play that clip one more time. That is one of the names. You can also give the Punjabi variant which you're probably familiar with if you watch the movie. Okay, what film is that? Anybody? Not too many hands raised. Yes? Chamkila and either Iktara or Tumbi. We'll accept either. Amar Singh Chamkila or just Chamkila is fine for points for the first part. Amar Singh Chamkila or Chamkila, Iktara or Tumbi. Diljit Doshanj played a character based on Chamkila in an earlier film called Jodi. The self-referential bit being Iktara being single string. Okay, 23. This Amul advertisement in 2024 honors a person who became the youngest to win a particular trophy or tournament. Which trophy? Whose record one set in 1983-84 did this contestant beat? You don't have to identify him. It says Grandmaster of Breakfast. Just tell us which trophy or tournament did he win? He became the youngest in the world to win it. Whose record did he beat? That whose record? That person is not Indian. It's a very, very famous person from the same field. You don't have to name this person. Okay, identify the tournament or the trophy, yes. The candidate's tournament. The candidate's tournament will get you one point. Who did, whose record did he beat? Yes. Excellent, Gary Kasparov. Absolutely right. This is D. Gukesh. Became the youngest winner of the candidate's tournament. And he beat Gary Kasparov. Number 24, penultimate question of the prelims. A particular dialect deviates from the standard version in its words for body, whatever you see there, gutter, and injury, soth. These variants result from the labor-intensive nature of the work done by the people who speak it. In which state in India is this dialect spoken? Which group working in an industry essential to this state speak it? Like if you figure out which state it is, you will know that immediately this is the one industry about that state that will come to your mind. Ah, okay, finally after this is a, yes, finally we will come to you since you've come all the way. Excellent answer, absolutely right. This is Assam and these are workers in tea gardens in Assam. How many of you got this right? Okay. That's fine. If you have that general concept, it's all right. People who work in tea gardens, tea leaf segregation, plucking, whatever it might be. And Assam, very good answer. Only few teams got it. Give them a round of applause. Great answer. Only few teams getting it right. Okay, last question of the preliminary round of India Quiz at Patna Mindfest 2024. The Blank Blank Oriental Public Library is an illustrious institution in Patna. It opened in 1891 using a collection of 4,000 manuscripts owned by Khan Bahadur Blank Blank, a judge, philosopher and revolutionary. Fill in the blanks with his name, roughly meaning a gift from God. In which 2018 film directed by Vijay Krishna Acharya did Amitabh Bachchan play a character of the same name? As you can see, we in the setting team are big Amitabh Bachchan fans. So, multiple Amitabh Bachchan questions in the quiz. Fill in the blanks with his name, which is also the name of the Oriental Public Library in Patna. And in which 2018 film did Amitabh Bachchan play a character of the same name? Shaman, why do you want to try? Yes. Khuda Baksh and Thugs of Hindustan. That's the right answer. Khuda Baksh and Thugs of Hindustan. Those are your answers for the preliminary round. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give us about half an hour to correct these hundred odd papers that are there. And then we will see you in the finals with the top eight. Please take a break till then. Go help yourselves to some tea, coffee and come back for the finals. Thank you very much uh, for making it. We have several prizes to give away and, uh, and uh, you know, awards to give away. So, we will first begin with announcing the three best school teams. We'll announce now itself because they haven't made the final anyway. So, 
in third place for best school team, we are giving top three prizes. You will, of course, get certificates tomorrow in the prize distribution. But we have a small token prize from Nexus for all of you. In third place for best school team are Avni, Chaitali, and Srimoyi, Notre Dame Academy. The, the runner-up best school team prize goes to Magadi Mythbusters, Kushagra, Aryan, and Anshman. Yeah, please give them a round of applause. Uh, Vivek, sir, if you can just come and give out these prizes. St. Karen's, is it? Okay. St. Karen's team, give them a big round of applause. Just one to all of them. It has three calendars in it. The winners of the best school team, uh, they have an excellent score, actually. You're not very far, actually, from even qualifying. An excellent score of 18 and a half points. Straw hats, Amrit Raj, Ayush, and Ishan. Yeah, St. Karen's again. Please give them a big round of applause. Wonderful performance by our school teams. We also have prizes for the best college team. Again, certificates and trophies. Uh, we will announce that a little later. First, the team, as always, with 134 teams, we can take only eight teams into the final. So some teams are always bound to miss out very, very narrowly. Uh, please give a big round of applause to this team. They miss out by just one point. They're, they are ninth in a list of 134 teams. A very familiar local team, past winners of this quiz, the Platinum 3, Akshay, Jyotiraditya, and Anand. Where are you guys? Please stand up and yeah, take a bow. Please give them a big round of applause. Very, very, very close. Very close. Very close. 